So what does it mean that the military is now authorized to use lethal force to assist civilian law enforcement? Let's find out. Let's talk about it. Mr. Langley Outdoors Academy is sensationalizing this topic without fully understanding the implications of what he's telling his viewers. He says that he approaches everything with a healthy dose of skepticism, but that's not before he tries to sell you his American flag written t-shirts. So Langley's concern is over DOD Directive 5240-01. DOD Directive 5240-01 was last edited in 2016, but it was most recently edited in 2024 to include language of lethal force. This is Langley Outdoors Academy's concern, and this is what he's riling up his audience with in this video. But kind sir, I have a few questions for Mr. Langley Outdoors Academy. Do you think that civilians can be enemies of our great country? Do you think that civilians can be enemies of the United States? Do you understand the implications of the oath of enlistment and what it means to the service members who take this oath? Particularly this part right here that I'm going to put on screen. Do you think that soldiers protecting our country should have any type of legal protection in the event that they need to use lethal force when assisting civilian law enforcement? But hold on a second before you answer those questions, I got to go into a little bit of a story time here, right? And give you guys a backstory on why I'm even posing these questions to Langley Outdoors Academy. Once upon a time, I was mobilized to DC to assist civilian law enforcement and no such language existed in the directive. When I was mobilized, this was a few years before the language was updated in the directive. Well, wouldn't you know it just about that time, an event like this that I'm gonna put on screen was taking place in which an attack took place on our soil here by a civilian and the civilian rammed into the gates of the Capitol and he took the lives of two officers. Now, I personally know soldiers who were on scene during this time and they came back and they told us we saw everything that happened. We were right there, but they could not do anything. Our hands were tied. There was no Directive 5240-01 authorizing lethal force. And at the time we were assisting the civilian law enforcement, we were not authorized lethal force. So those two officers who tragically lost their lives, if there was an updated directive, there could have been something that could have been done about that. So when Langley Outdoors Academy makes these videos with these stunning headlines and he riles up hundreds of thousands of viewers, I hope he really understands the implications of why the DOD might update such a directive. Like, comment, subscribe. Please share this video with Langley Outdoors Academy, right? Because I really, really, really want him to have a higher level of comprehension of the things he talks about. I want him to have a higher level of responsibility to the ideas and the concepts that he puts out to his half a million subscribers. So if it's not about topics like covering this video or other videos, it's just going to talk to you. Peace.